Hey YouTube, uh, happy October, November to you. This is my October update. Um, as you can see, I got the last Curse City guy done. You can also tell that I am not using my uh, stand camera, my 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 main one. My kid is still doing his his Suzuki method last one, and you can see I've got the most manly of soaps behind it. But there is the. Um, uh, shoot, I never do look up the guy's name. The dwarf from Curse City. He was the last guy I needed to finish up, and he worked out pretty well. He he, he did. He it's not an A plus one hundred percent. I'm definitely going to win the Golden Demon paint job, but it's it's serviceable. The kids will like it if he if we ever play a second mission of this. Um, and you know maybe I'll I'll use him just because he's got some cool cool mechanics. Uh, my second child actually might want to use him because he can grab loot. And if there's anything that kid likes to do in games, it's to get loot, whether or not he'll ever use it. But yeah, he's all finished up. Uh, he he was fun to paint. He was a little tedious. Some of the Cursed City characters were uh, high levels of tedium because you had to put them all the way together before you could start painting them to prime them. And uh, they they were in the like the jigsaw puzzle method that GW does a little bit on their sprues. But you know, overall, he, he wasn't that bad. A little bit of, a little bit of this. The hardest part I had was deciding which colors to paint, and uh, but he turned out all right. Uh, next, I got up the Halloween Devil or Satan from Kingdom Death. This is unfortunately a recast. Um, I bought this one off eBay about five or six years ago, and was unfamiliar with the fact that uh, there are a lot of recasts that come out of China. And so I thought it was just somebody who didn't want their model. And they put it on for sale. But it came and the uh, the base was a single piece instead of the, um, like the little, the dual piece you can see here that Kingdom Death usually does for their bases. You can see the four priming job there on that, but you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, still it was a, a good model to practice on. Uh, I did did have some problems with uh, uh, painting the flesh, mainly just I I don't let it dry all the way, and then I, I go back and it tears the paint as it's drying, and that's where you get those little lumps of uh, on the skin, like little little nobules sometimes. And uh, I do that more with the skin because I want it to look the way it's supposed to look at the end, uh, right at the beginning, and I don't let it don't let it process through. But, you know, she was fun. Uh, I, I feel like I did a good job with the reds uh, on her tail and on her uh, boots and um, her shirt, which evidently she washed in the hot cycle and it shrank a little bit. But uh, who's complaining? But yeah, she was fun. Uh, she did pretty good. I tried to make the, the handle like uh, polished bone um, just because it looks like a giant leg bone. Uh, and in doing that, I managed to snap the... Um, pitchfork off right at her hand and so I had to try to pin that with like a half millimeter brass rod and you know it's pinned and it's glued on but it's not not the best job. Uh, next I did the uh, Halloween Survivor uh, can't remember his name uh, Kitty Bear is what one of my buddies called him and that 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 that's the way I always imagine him his little kitties and his tail lantern and his uh, thong cat bikini, which his skin I got pretty well because I, I I learned from the the previous one and managed to let um, let the skin dry all the way before putting the next coat on, and um, it actually helped. I put the base coats down with just my glasses on and not my zoom in goggles, and so I didn't try to finesse it too much until the bases were down, and then I could work on um, keeping his leg muscles looking smooth and the transition in the butt cheek shadows so <laughs> uh, butt cheek shadows anyway uh but there you go his he worked out pretty well uh the, the little pumpkins were fun to paint i painted them white and then uh washed them with um lamenter's yellow i actually have a little little thing of that uh just a yellow glaze uh, you could probably do a yellow contrast paint and be fine. And then, um, or even a yellow wash. 
and then went over it with Jokero orange for the orange parts and then um, whatever the second orange is. It's the one I use for my the, uh, Troll Slayer orange. There we go. Yeah, luckily I hadn't cleaned up, so there's my ping pong over there. But he worked out pretty well. Um, actually, he works out a lot, as you can tell. He's got all those abracadabras and the uh, muscles galore because it's totally exactly how I look and not like uh, Greater Plague Demon at all. But he was fun. I got him all finished up and then did the Elvira Survivor, which I can't remember her name either. Um, she did pretty well. Uh, I did get frustrated at the very end. I was painting her up and I was transferring her and her leg broke. And so the uh, gap filling that I had done was undone. And so it was either shave the green stuff off the top of her leg there and then refill it or um, just put her in the cabinet and call it done. And at this point, I was just like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. And so she worked out pretty good. And again, I did the same thing for the pumpkins on her belt and her pumpkin basket here. And Boney in there trying to get, pinch, a, pinch a booty cheek. I don't think he's going to do very well. She'll probably knock him silly. Elvira is not one to mess with. But her skin is... Look at giant. Um, her skin is Rakarth Flesh with a mixture of basic skin tone uh, from Vallejo. And I did Rakarth Flesh first, or Deneb Stone, whichever one that one is. Um, I can't remember which bottle I still have. And then went over it with the, the skin tone and the, the base paint mixed together. And this one, uh, I did have kind of the same problem with not letting it dry enough, but it wasn't as pronounced. I did um, wait too long. There was a gap here on the top of her thigh that I waited too long to fill in. Should have done it before I um, before I primed it, but I, I didn't think the gap was that big. And then I primed it and the gap was that big. And I should have, at that point, sanded it down, filled it in with green stuff, and then reprimed. But I did not, and then paid the price later on. Um, her red hair turned out okay, uh, if you'll focus there, camera. Uh, not the best, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's hard hard to do red hair, but... Well, not really hard, it's just I always muff it up. But I still like painting. But there you go, there's Elvira. Um, I've got the other two Halloween people primed up and ready to go. Like, here's Young Frankenstein. Let's see, let's get, let's get Duke Cannon up here so there it will focus and she had some of the same gap problems like up here in her wrists which i filled a little bit with let's see and again seeing how hard it is to focus on this stuff probably no one will ever notice except me and so it's probably not that big of a deal but seeing as she is a uh, uh a golem of flesh, a realived monster that should have seams and stitches and cuts and gashes all over her. I think I can fudge those if they don't fill in properly. And so she'll be on the list. Uh, I also have, let's see, I'll have to move the camera for this guy, a uh, rather suave and debonair vampire slash eldritch horror aficionado. Woo! Come on, Bone. I mean, I paid, paid more than a house payment on, not a house payment, but a car payment on this thing. You ought to be able to focus. But there we go. He's, he was one. Let's take him off his. There we go. If I managed to hit the uh, stop recording button. He was the one where I did go back and uh, sand down and fill in with green stuff. his shoulder seams there, which I'm going to prime again and see if that filled it in. And if it didn't, uh, then I'm going to do it again because the seams were just so prominent on Elvira that I don't want to have to go through that again. Because uh, he's supposed to be cool and dapper and debonair. And uh, I figured he'd have his shit together and have a nice tailored suit. I uh, have a third one that's on the list, and you can see the last one I got done there. Uh, old Sergeant Ripper Jackson. I've actually had her primed since May of 2020. 
maybe May of 2021. Uh, well over a year. Yeah, I think it's May of 2021. I've had her primed and ready to get painted. And I just have not painted her. Uh, partially because, you know, it's like, oh, what am I going to paint her? And then uh, I just let another project, like a Kingdom Death heroine, slide into the forefront. But uh, she'll get painted. And the last to do is I've got... Uh, watch Captain Artemis. They took him off of the rotation, and so I ended up buying him. He, I painted his 54 millimeter Inquisitor figure a couple of years ago. Uh, you can fish back through the hundred and whatever videos I've got, and take a look for it. But uh, uh, you don't really have to. But again, the the last one, the big one that I got done over the month was um, the um, Forgotten Prisoner. Uh, of Castle Mare. It's supposed to be the Count of Mare, who had. Uh, once too often over uh, screwed over the peasantry, and so he gets thrown into the dungeon and forgotten, hence the forgotten prisoner. Uh, my daughter painted the sign. She wanted to paint it purple, and she wanted purple for his clothes as well. And so that's that's what he ended up wearing, his nice cool purple clothes and whatnot. But uh, the bone, I, I liked keeping it white, uh, just because of monster movie scariness is kind of white. I tried to go for a, a contrasting white for the teeth. Um... And I feel, I feel like that the teeth turned out really well because they look like he, you know, he, he at least brushed and flossed a little bit. And his bones and his, uh, the, the, the frayedness of the pants and whatnot. The uh, rat gnawed hand bone down here as well. I, I kind of wish I would have done, like I, I washed this one in a, uh, in a sepia ink to see if that would make the bones look better. And then it, it kind of did, it kind of didn't. It makes it look like an aged skull. But, you know, I, I, I kind of want to just go back and, and make it up like this one. But at this point, you know, I've got so many other projects pressing forward that it, it'll do. And so, you know, I don't have to worry about it. But you got you got like little rats that are hiding there. The snake that's coming out of there. And um, the tarantula on the wall. You know, because this, this is 100% monster movie camp. And uh, it's 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 just a lovely, silly model. I, I did see one on eBay for like two thousand dollars, sealed in the box. I mean, unless you just have like a huge nostalgia boner for this stuff, don't don't pay that kind of stuff. You can find the reprint of uh, of this model for like fifty bucks if you just want to build it and paint it. And it, I mean, this took me not even a week to get painted up and done. I spent more time vacillating over which, um, which colors I was going to go for than I did for, than, than actually execution. I mean, the stone is just, uh, various grays and greens and browns and washes and inks, a little bit of lead belcher on the bars in the back and, uh, you know, lead belcher and, uh, rush wa uh, rust wash and brown, brown paint on the the manacles and iron things he was was a bit hard to position uh on the wall i ended up having to, to bend the bend the knee instead of letting him rest standing up but i think it adds a little bit to the dynamism but that's what i got painted up and you know these four here are my my next uh on my list to get done for the month of November. We'll see what I can do. Uh, we're not going anywhere for Thanksgiving. The wife has to work for, um, work for the hospital. And, you know, cause people, people evidently still get sick over Thanksgiving. It's just, just strange. But anyway, I hope you guys have had a good Halloween, had good times, had, had fun with the family. If you got to, or got to go out trick or treating, or at least got to steal your kids trick or treat candy or the neighbor's kids trick or treat candy or, got to go out and blow up pumpkins or whatever whatever you did on halloween all right guys well you all have a have a good week and a good month and i will post these up as soon as i get them all finished up um i have painted more kingdom death this month almost than i have in my life beforehand so we'll see we'll see if that trend keeps going i've got some 40 or 50 the the, the kids boxed up in their boxes over here just need to be Need to bolden up and paint them. All right. Well, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you later. Adios.